morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Marcus Megalokonomos reporting for Alpha Mag TV. Today we're speaking to Alex Lykos, playwright, actor, producer, director, to find out who the man is, discuss his plays and his career so far. Marcus Megalokonomos, Alpha Mag TV, welcomes Alex Lykos. Yeah, look, it all started from, I, you know, I told you off camera that I used to, beat, I used to play tennis for a living and um, I lived in America for about nine years and um, when I came back, I had about 400 photos and I was kind of lost about what I was going to do with my life, you know, I've been playing tennis since I was 10, I was now 27 years old or something, I'm like, what am I going to do with my life and, you know, I wasn't working and, and I said, oh, well, let me just put my photos in a, you know, some kind of chronological order and I'd write down the back of the photos, you know, who I was with, what we did that day, you know, the events of that happened, I kind of enjoyed that, I found it therapeutic and I really enjoyed that and I thought, let me write a story about my experience in America and I did that and the story was crap, but I found I enjoyed it, you know, and then I, um, I'd come home and I'd run into a friend of mine who I'd grown up with and um, I found out later this guy that I'd grown up with, had the same background as me, um, was one of the biggest drug dealers in Sydney. And I thought, oh okay, there's a story there about the reunion of two best mates, um, about a drug dealer and a professional sportsman. You know, how did they renew their friendship? And I started scribbling that idea down, and that was my first screenplay. Well, the second one, but the first one of any real note um, that I'd written. And luckily enough, I got funding for that, for development funding from New South Wales from the Office, and it kind of just grew from there. And I felt like I, I enjoyed it, and it was really good, and, and it was quite therapeutic. There was some sense of uh, enjoyment of expressing that side of me that I hadn't been able to express while I was playing tennis. I used to when I used to miss shots, but that was different. It was quite expensive, throwing rapids, breaking it. <laughs> so yeah, was, yeah, that's kind of how it all started, you know. And, and performing was just something that kind of grew from that. I'd get myself on stage, you know, see what happens. I'd always kind of enjoyed watching movies when I was a kid. And now I had that chance to explore that stuff with tennis. It was so one-dimensional, there was no chance. When I was in America, I was in a small town, a very American town. You know, my Greek roots had kind of dissipated. I remember when I first got back, I would say to my Greek fans, what do you mean Greek? You're Australian, what do you mean? I didn't understand it. Um, and doing the theatre, you know, um, the last seven years, I've really gotten in touch with my Greek roots um, and understood its history a lot better, which has been really good. For me as a storyteller, as an actor, as a writer, as a producer, it's simple. It's very, very it's, it's simply, you tell a story, in order to move people. It's as simple as that. You want to move, whether you want to make them laugh, whether you want to cry, whether you, make them, you want to move, you want to affect them in some way. You know, if they can go away thinking about, hmm, okay, Greek boy, Muslim girl, all right, it's got them thinking. Whether they agree or disagree, it's, it's irrelevant. It's got them thinking, you know, um, or, you know, whether it's, gee, what would I do if my son, I found out my son's a drug dealer, how would I deal with that? I'd love to change the perception of theatre so people are saying, you know what, let's go to the theatre. Sitting on a club, let's go to the theatre. I'd, I'd love to do that. You know, make that part of the ritual. Obviously not the only thing. You know, go to a club and go to the football and, and, go, and go to the movies. But I'd love theatre to be part of the ritual of, of what people do on a regular basis. Going to Emerald Theatre was probably the single worst experience that I've ever had individually. I'll never forget the weight of energy from the crowd when we first walked on stage and delivered our lives, it was, it was quite an extraordinary thing. That for me is probably the best memory I've ever had. Um, whether it was tennis or whether it was theatre or whether it was anything, uh, performing it in more, especially because my parents used to go there when, when I was very young to watch movies. So it meant a lot to them as well, performing at quite a seminal venue. But, you know, the Alex and Lee films now, it's got, finally gotten through to Screen Australia and, and I have to say I was I was absolutely um, uh, um, filled with a lot of pride when the casting brief went out to all the agents um, just this three days ago, um, and all the roles were, you know, Alex, you know, Greek Australian guy, um, E, Lebanese, you know, a Muslim girl. Um, we're looking for someone who's, a, you know, looks Arabic. We're looking for someone who looks Greek. We're looking for someone who looks Arabic. We're looking for someone who looks Greek. And the, and the majority of the cast is, you know, we're looking for ethnic actors basically. You know, this is now a major film. Um, and the casting agents are now specifically looking for ethnic actors. And I can tell you now, you know, we're not going to let any 
non-ethics play the ethic roles. I'm going to show you that. I love, I love my golf. I've got my group that I play with. Um, we try and play once a fortnight and um, we love it. Sledging, you know, it's a great escape. You know, you focus about nothing else other than trying to get that white ball in the hole. Um, and for anyone, you know, for all those who do come and watch our plays, you'll notice there's always a golf reference somewhere. There's always an homage to golf. And like yourself, big fan of the Bulldogs, have been since I was five years of age. Um, not happy the Bulldogs lost uh, in the grand final, but we'll get them next year. There's been some tough times, you know, um, Ella and I, um, you know, Saturday, Saturday nights, freezing winter, dropping flies off on cars and Greek, outside Greek events. That was, wasn't easy. <laughs> the one, one of the funnest scripts I had was um, we're doing Alex Lee and the Baby, and one of our actors who was the first guy I met in theatre, um, you know, 11 years ago, um, Adam Hatsimanolis, who I kept telling him during rehearsals, was supposed to play an Arabic guy, his accent didn't come across as Arabic. Um, he had a strange intonation. So anyway, he had this one line where there's the hint that I possibly cheated on Eve or whatever, and, 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 and did you cheat on her? I'm like, no, well, no, not exactly. And his line was, what do you mean, not exactly? He comes around and says, says it doubly long as long, yeah, what do you mean not exactly? And I've just busted out into love. I just couldn't control. I just couldn't. I was just laughing my head. I was just, uh, and the audience laughed. Then I laughed some more. And then he goes in the line and says, it's not fun, boy. And that weird accent of his, I'm thinking you're killing me here. Just recently in a long night, we hadn't told the audience anything. Um, I thought it'd be quite funny to dress up as a woman, then I wore heels. So I came out as a woman and the audience went berserk. Me and Georgie absolutely flubbed our lines. We didn't know what we said, just kept laughing, so it didn't really matter anyway. But they're the two that come to mind that were, were quite funny on stage. I just want to say thank you to all you know the readers who, who, who come to our shows. Thank you for their support. Um, as I said, without the sponsors, without the audience, there's, there's no show. Um, so I just want to yeah, say thanks to, to our sponsor, you know, go the doggies as well. There's only one reason why I want to be famous. So, New South Wales Golf Club can make me an honorary member. That's why I want to be famous. That's it. So if any of the readers at Alpha who have any links to New South Wales Golf Course, please, 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 feel free to go to our website, which is plug, 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 plug www.bulldogtheatre.com which I know Marcus likes that website being a bull, fellow Bulldogs fan um, and you know jump on Facebook we've got our Facebook pages and all those social medias and all that type of stuff and um, want to also say thanks to, to John and to Marcus it's been a fantastic interview and thanks to Alpha TV